Anyway, let's start talking about Jim Kukral. I uh, met Jim in 2003 when I was at Calabunga Technologies. Uh, Jim had a company called Affiliate Makeover that did uh, website overhauls for affiliates. Uh, he was coming out of a web development background. Uh, I got a chance to work with Jim at Calabunga Technologies, then again at Forge Business, uh, doing outsourced affiliate program management. Um, and Jim did the marketing on that side of things, so uh, you got to work together there. Uh, Jim's a serial entrepreneur, uh, started up a bunch of different business sites, uh, made a lot of mistakes, had a lot of successes, and um, I think that some of what he's learned there is going to come out to you today. Uh, some of the projects that he has been involved in so that he's kicked off include the Daily Flip, uh, selling the recently deceased uh, Flip Cams. Uh, also, started up the first network, uh, ad network for bloggers called Blog Kits, or first affiliate network. Um, had a product called Online Video Toolkit. He just released version 2.0 of that shows people uh, a practical course on how to use uh, video and marketing their businesses online. And uh, currently, he's teaching um, internet marketing classes at University of San Francisco online, which is uh, great stuff. And uh, recently, uh, about lack, about a year and a half back now, wrote a book called "Attention: This Book Will Make You Money," and uh, was the keynote speaker at Affiliate Summit uh, East in New York City last year, and uh, did a heck of a job with that. So I'm uh, proud to turn you over to the able hands of my friend Jim Kukro. Good. Let me know if there's any tech problems because I can't see the chat. Thank you so much for having me here. It's my pleasure to be here, and I would do anything for Wade. Uh, we've been friends for a long time online and had many encounters online and offline, but we'll save those stories for never, okay? We'll, we'll keep those stories to ourselves. Um, thank you so much for having me here. We are going to talk tonight about attention-getting marketing. We're going to talk about that in part, but we're also going to talk about a lot of other things. And the, the official title of this presentation is called Big Business Marketing on a Small Business Budget because, frankly, uh, I like working with small businesses. And that means people who have one person or two people or 10 or 50, I like working with small businesses. And the truth is, is that small business owners like you and me don't have gigantic million-dollar budgets. We do not have the ability to spend a ton of money on things. What we do have is the ability to move fast. The ability, the ability to make decisions, the ability to be creative, um, those types of things. And those things can help us and help us grow our businesses, the key is, without having to spend a ton of money. So we're going to talk about several different things tonight. And I'm going to jump around from a bunch of stuff. And hopefully you're going to pick up some good tips and some motivation, some strategy from tonight. And uh, let's just start because I'm ready to go. I'm pumped up. We are going to start talking about web videos first. I just did a webinar today. This is my second one today. I did one earlier today with a company called HubSpot.com. I don't know if you've heard of them. And we had a, a big webinar today of talking about the beginning, how to start up with a web video. And I got to tell you that if you're not doing web video yet, you got to get into it. And tying this all back to the small business on a marketing uh, you know, some small business budget, you know. Web video is such a great way to convert in terms of affiliate marketing, in terms of lead signups, sales, people come walking into your store, ebook downloads, uh, whatever it is. Web video convert. And you have to get on the bandwagon. You have to start thinking about producing web videos. Now, I do have a free kit out there and it's called onlinevideotoolkit.com where you can sign up for free and I'll teach you, I'll give you 10 video lessons that show you how to uh, make web video. So go ahead and sign up for that. What you're going to find out in there is a lot of lessons about how video is not as hard as it used to be, how it's not as expensive as you think it is, and I'm going to eliminate all of those things that stop you from wanting to do it. You know, the things like you don't want to be on camera, you don't have the money to have it professionally shot and edited, you don't have a teleprompter, you don't need any of that stuff. You don't have to be on camera, you can get a, a, a webcam off your computer to do something, or you can get a hundred dollar camera and do it. You can upload things directly to video, so YouTube. You can make screencasts of, of, of things, of, of presentations like this. We're recording this on video right now. This will be played back on YouTube. You could do screencasts of you surfing the web. There's so many things that you could be doing 
to promote your business without having to spend a ton of money on video forum. So let's talk about one of those ones that I love a lot, and it's a company called CrossFit Cleveland. Now, uh, CrossFit is a national chain of gyms, uh, kind of like a boot camp type of training where they train you how to get in shape. And I got involved in CrossFit because somebody sent me a video of it on YouTube. And what the owner of CrossFit Cleveland did was so smart. He made a video of the workouts, of the people talking about the workouts, put some fun music in it, shots of the gym, shots of what the experience was like in the gym. Now let me ask you a question. What is the biggest thing that stops you from walking into a gym? For me, it was I didn't know what to expect. I've never been a workout person before. I had no idea if they were going to yell at me. I had no idea if they were going to laugh at me. You know, I'm an out of shape guy. Are they going to look at this guy? He's out of shape. Ha <laughs> ha. Is it going to be like that? Are the other people in the gym going to be all fit and they're going to be looking at me? You know, there's reasons you don't walk into a gym. This video completely, completely changed the way I thought about the business. Within 15 minutes of watching the video, I had followed the link on the video to the guy's blog, found out about the programs he had connected with him on Facebook, linked him up on Twitter and, and LinkedIn, and about a half an hour later, I clicked the PayPal button on his website and joined the gym. Now you tell me, what's a better way to do it? Write a check to a giant advertising company and hope to TV, radio, or whatever, and hope that people find you, or produce something like that that can get attention for your business. It's, it's just one example of how you can get attention for your business by creating a simple, simple video that shows what you do. And people say, wow, that is what I want. That's what I need. And that is that's one of my favorite examples. If you go to um, YouTube and do a search for CrossFit Cleveland, you'll see that video I'm talking about. It's about an eight-minute video, and it's a powerful, powerful video. And right now you're probably thinking, well, Jim, I want to make viral videos. Well, Locally, that was a viral video. People spread it around. Because, remember, when you become a fan of something, you then share it. And that's exactly what people did who got watched the video who were members of the CrossFit gym. Is they went on Facebook and shared it. They went on Twitter and shared it. They went on, uh, fa uh, they went on YouTube and liked it and shared it. When you create things that create emotions in people, you can create reactions. Emotions create reactions. In the conversion business, affiliate business, any business, if you can create an emotion in somebody, you have a better chance of creating a reaction. And a reaction is a click. A reaction is an add to cart. A reaction is a download. A reaction is a lead form. In other words, exactly everything that you and I need to do every single day. The, the, the number one, 1,000% 1, thing that you and I in the Internet business focus on doing every single day is creating reactions, a conversion. If you can create an emotion in a potential customer, you have a much better chance of getting them to create, to, to have that reaction. So think about all the viral videos you've ever watched. And think about what emotions they brought up in you. Have you ever seen the video, Where in the Hell is Matt? Go look at, for that video on YouTube. And it's the video of the guy who traveled around the world dancing, looking silly in different places all over the world with some really fun, inspirational music. Now, you tell me after you watch that video that you don't want to send it to everyone you know. Have you ever seen the Will It Blend videos where the guy takes iPads and marbles and blends them up in a blender? You know, that emits a react, an emotion in you of happiness, of joy, of fun. And the first thing you want to do is share it with somebody. Your challenge as affiliates, your challenge as Internet marketers, as small business owners, is to figure out what types of emotions you can create in potential customers. And by the way, it doesn't have to be happiness. It can be discussed. It's a little more risky. There are people who have made entire careers on, out of shocking and disgusting other people. It could be hate. It could be pride. It could be sadness. It could be 
uh, whatever. Think about all the times uh, when, when an emotion is created in you and the reaction that you have. I think probably one of the best examples I can ever think of, if you've ever seen those, um, I think it's the, the Humane Society commercials with the, I think it's the Sarah McLaughlin track, the Eyes of the Angel or whatever it is, and they have the faces of the dogs and the cats who are abused, and they're playing that sad song in the background. And just thinking about that makes me want to get all weepy because I'm, you know, I'm just an emotional guy. But think about how many people watch those commercials and pick up the phone to donate. Your challenge is to create emotions in people. Choose video to do that, and you will get more reactions. Um, I, I'm going to briefly step on this because I don't know how many people are in the service business uh, on this call. I know this is primarily focused towards affiliates. But I just want to tell you about a really good tool out there. If, if you're in the service business, you're a consultant, an OPM, or like, you know, if you're any type of service business, there's a great tool out there called timetrade.com. What timetrade.com does is allows you to uh, put a calendar online that people can schedule an appointment with you. So they click the button, they go through, look for dates that you have already preset on your calendar, they select the time that they want to meet with you. It at, when they do that, it adds it to your calendar and sends you an email and says, hey, Jerry requested a meeting with you next Tuesday at 2 o'clock. And it adds it to your calendar. And then you call Jerry at that time. A really great tool. Um, a merchant account is something you're definitely going to want to have as well. The PayPal button doesn't cut it anymore. Um, and I'm going to move from this slide because this slide is really not as pertinent as I want. The last point I want to make there, if you're a service company, Stop doing spec work. Spec work is work that you do for free in hopes to get the business. I've never understood this in my life, why I would do a bunch of work for free in hopes of getting the job. Change the way that you do things. Don't say, oh, well, I'll do a quote for you. Say, yeah, I'll charge you 50 bucks to do the quote. My time is worth something. Or have packages or have something. But never, ever do work for free. And that's what spec work is. Let's talk about social media because there's never been a greater time in the history of the world to build your brand, to advertise, to get the word out using the Internet, and more specifically, social media. But you have to be able to start thinking of social media a little bit differently. And by that I mean is social media to me, and it needs to be to you, is business. It's not playtime. And a lot of people don't